It's Liana. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I have been having some technological difficulties and neither my phone nor my husband's phone will stream live out of my house. Um, so, and that's why the camera is so crappy. I'm using a Chromebook instead. Um, hi mom. Uh, so yesterday I actually filmed this whole big thing about raw feeding and whatnot, and it did not work at all. So sorry, there was no show yesterday. Um, but today we're going to do how to pill a cat. Got the cat here. She's actually, she's yelling at me quite a bit because, uh, she hasn't been fed yet. So I never feed her until after I pill her because I, hi, good morning. Um, I don't want, I don't want her mouth full of cat cat food when I pill her. That's all. <laughs> so she's a little bit crabby with me that I have not given her her food yet. So she's chatting quite a bit. Um, so you can kind of see here. Sorry, I'm doing this all on the computer. I have all her pills and everything and her brushes. And she, we actually just adjusted her medication based on her blood work from earlier this week. So she gets, she gets a liquid painkiller she has thyroid medication and blood pressure medication. So we use her little pill cutter. I use pill pockets for her simply because, um, let me tilt this up a little bit so you guys can see me a little bit. Um, I use pill pockets for her because it's easier to pill her. Most times she's getting more than one pill. So I want her, so it's easier to pill her than, with more than one pill by giving her using a pill pocket. Um, also her thyroid medication, you're not supposed to touch with your hands. So either I have to use gloves or I, if I just kind of scoop it up with the pill pocket, then I don't have to touch it. So then I can still use, so then I don't have to use gloves. So I get all her pills ready. The key with cats is preparedness and being confident. Um, got this. The more you have to handle them because you're nervous, the worse that they get. So with cats, I'm going to turn this so you guys can kind of see. Hi, cat. I'm sorry, I can't zoom in more or anything. Uh, but so with cats, you just always want to be nice and calm and confident. Um, I do her pill first. So hi. Hi, how are you? She knows it's coming, so she's not thrilled. Um, Cats have this nice little gap about halfway to back their jaw. Um, hi. Yeah. And they have a gap in their teeth, so it's nice and easy to stick your finger in there. If you have a cat that's really bad, you can scruff them and stuff. She's not really bad. She's actually pretty mellow about it. She doesn't love it. So I just grab her behind the head to stop her from squirming away and then underneath the chin. And then I just take my finger, my uh, middle finger, and stick it in the gap. And then I just pop the pill down her throat. Well then, now if you've cats that are really bad about fighting it, you might have to hold their mouth closed so that they swallow and then you can rub their throat so that they actually swallow it down. She's really good about swallowing it and I get it pretty far down there so we don't have that problem. Same thing for the liquid. I just pop it in that little gap in her mouth and she just swallows it. All done. So it's nice and easy. It tastes bitter so she doesn't like it. But that's also why I give her her food afterwards and then she can have that. So I'm going to get that for her right now. That's her normal routine. And most cats are that simple. There we go. So I'll sit down with this for a minute. <clears throat> Hi, Mom. I'm having technical difficulties. There's someone else watching too. Hello to whoever else is watching. I can't always see everyone who's on. So, um, Hi. She's she's all getting all crabby. She's gonna lay down and be cozy. Of course you can share it, absolutely. And I'm gonna try to do it sometime again. Well, I you know, pill her twice a day. Um so you can absolutely share it. Uh and I will make a better one at some point when my cell phone is working. For whatever reason, I could not get Facebook Live to work on e my phone or my husband's phone this morning. So so it's being done in low quality. Not that cell phones are that much better, but um, so yeah, with cats, you just mainly want to make sure you do it as quickly as possible, make it nice and fast and smooth and easy because the longer you have to hassle with them, the better, the worse it is. So just be nice and confident and calm and hi, Gabby, good morning. Um, we did a nice little session on how to pill a cat. So 
Now my cat's all. It's a, it's a good. It's actually, it's actually a relaxed face. Um, it's not super crabby, but, but it still looks good. I'm glad that it still looks good because on my end it looks awful. Um, but yeah, cats are pretty simple. The main thing about having pilling a cat is whether you can catch them or not. And as pet sitters, that's actually the biggest issue we run into is our, is the cat going to hide? If the cat doesn't hide, then they're usually not that difficult to pill. Um, it's a matter of whether they're hiding from you or not. Thankfully, she doesn't leave the couch, so she's nice and simple. Sometime I'll show you guys uh, doing fluids because we also do fluids for clients and she gets fluids. We, we have her bag of fluids actually hanging behind us here. Um, so sometimes, maybe some morning we'll do fluids. We usually do it at night and I hesitate to do Facebook Live at, at like in the middle, you know, nine o'clock at night. So um, maybe sometime we'll do that if people actually want to see how it's done because it's super straightforward. And that's why we do it for clients all the time when they need it. Fluids. Okay, so sometime we'll fill, film fluids. So the key with the uh, fluids for cats is you have to get them in a position in a place that's comfortable and all cats are a little bit different. So whenever we're doing fluids for a client's cat, we always try to figure out where they're most comfortable and how they are. And some cats do really well being confined. Some cats like to be held or toweled. Some cats like to just be held loosely. Um, I had one cat that I did fluids for every other day for over a year and he liked to be held and carried around by his mom and she would actually just um, bounce him like a baby and he was fine. Uh, but if you tried to set him down on a table or anything, he would not let you do fluids. So that was pretty, that was pr an interesting one. So we had our, our little system worked out where she'd stand next to wherever we hung the bag of fluids. With our cat, uh, she has to be held by her dad, pretty much. I can kind of get away with it, the kid can kind of get away with it, but usually uh, she has to, yeah, she has to be held by her dad. So um, I have to do it when he's up and around and here and available. Um, and because, you know, she's a dad's girl. So um, so how's everybody doing this morning? Doing good? Got a couple people still on. Anybody else have anybody have questions about anything? Why I'm here? And uh, no, that's OK. You don't have to have questions. Wondering what everybody's going to be doing today, and I think I'm just getting, I'm working on a series of blogs for um, lists of ideal schedules for different types of pets, so I've been working on those for a little while, so we did uh, one for shy cats, one for super active dogs, one for chickens, so I still need to do cats that are not shy, um, dogs, regular dogs instead of, you know, super active dogs, regular dogs, elderly dogs, rabbits, small animals, parrots, horses, I think are on the list. Um, so I have a bunch of those to work on this afternoon. Off to the vet appointment with Rocky. Is he getting his teeth cleaned right now or is it just, or, or no, wrong dog. The other dog's getting your teeth, Angel's getting your teeth cleaned, right? I think that's right, if I remember. I'm glad you joined us this morning, Crystal. It's exciting. I'm going to try to make the Facebook Live sessions probably pretty close to 8.30 from now on, I think. I They kind of have just been happening whenever, and that might still happen a little bit, but I'm going to try to do them pretty close to 8.30. So I think that's a pretty good time for everyone. I can't go later than that, and um, people earlier than that seem to either still be in bed or commuting or something, so find that more people join me about that time but uh, today it was late since computer issues I think I have to spend the day wiping my cell phone and starting fresh since it doesn't seem to be working correctly anymore um, so I'll try to do fluids and uh, I'm not sure what I'll talk about tomorrow um, the weather's getting nice so hopefully everybody has a great day doing some fun stuff Say hi to your pets from us, and I will see you all tomorrow morning. Bye.